Hey guys, and welcome back to Latasha Hewitt Homes. Thanks for stopping by my channel. We talk about all things home and life here. And today we're gonna tackle another organization project. I'm always looking for different areas of the home that needs to just be a little bit more efficient or could use some type of system to help life be a little simpler. And today I found the one. Actually, I found it a few weeks ago, but today is the day that we're going to tackle this. I'm gonna invite you right over here. This is a little hallway um, right next to our laundry room to this object right here. How many of you know what this is? This is the deep freezer. And you know, one of the things, one of the reasons we got this deep freezer is because I remember having one growing up. That's where we would store, you know, bulk items, extra things that my mom made. And uh, that was the reason we got it because Andre's mom hooks them up. My husband's mom really hooks them up with some great Jamaican cuisine. And we just didn't have enough room in our freezer to store it all. And so we had to invest in a deep freezer. Well, after the last visit from our moms and our family for my daughter's graduation, we had quite <laughs> the influx of food, which was great. However, we needed a better system for organizing it. Um, and this is over like two weeks ago. So what you're about to see is actually a few weeks old. So you can imagine how full it was just a few weeks ago. So just check out its current condition and then we'll walk through the process of how we're going to create some type of order in our deep freezer. Let's check out the current situation. So guys, this is a huge improvement from what it looked like a couple of weeks ago when it was fully stocked. I mean, imagine bags all the way up here. And it was a blessing because all of these <laughs> come from my, most of it from my husband's mother who is a superb Jamaican chef <laughs> uh, by her own right. <laughs> and she loves to stock my husband up with some of his Jamaican favorites. And so I love it for him. However, I did want to create a better system because sometimes you just have bags and you just hear this, just looking for. So I was like, okay, there has to be a better way. I mean, it is a deep freezer. So the whole point is to kind of be deep. Uh, but you know me, I went out to the Dollar Tree to see if I can find something that to create some type of system that can make this process a little bit better. So let's see how we make up. Okay guys, so I'm starting by simply bringing everything from the freezer on the counter so we can put them in the appropriate category. Okay, so we've gotten everything out of the freezer now and everything is in its place. I'm kind of spreading everything out on the counter so I can really see what we have there. It's like a little overwhelming to look at it just laying out like that, but I discovered the first thing I really needed to do was to start sorting the food by type, like putting all the sides, the starches, the rice together, and then um, then also start with separating the meat. Uh, because usually he's putting together a meat with a rice and rice and peas and um, then adding maybe a salad with it. So uh, that was the first thing is to separate the bags by type so that we could use those bins to put them in so that it's easier for him to find the food. So I used, uh, I got one size bin that I thought would be like a catch-all. I recognized though that the bin really wasn't big enough um, to hold a lot of stuff. So I tried to consolidate some bags into each other so I can get more into the one bag. So I got probably uh, six small individual size bags into that. And then I got these stackable um, bins because I thought with the deep freezer that would be best um, so that it's easier to like take out one row and then put the other one back and so I just got um, a set of four I just like the way they were easy to snap in once again from the Dollar Tree 125 a piece so um, I got five items for this little project now it was kind of small compared to the size of the food items but I was able to at least put uh, maybe two to three bags um, and this was all just rice I'm still dealing with. So I had that bin of rice and then I had these two stackables of rice and peas. What I wanted to do was then put the meat together. So that's the chicken there. I knew that I'd seen some oxtail, um, some that was cooked, some that wasn't cooked. 
So I said, okay, let's go ahead and put all the oxtail together um, and see if we can get all of the meat within these two um, stackables. And so uh, oxtail, my, my husband loves oxtail, <laughs> which is why you know, there was plenty of that. And uh, the goal was to just try to <laughs> make it easier to find these things. So when he's putting his lunches and dinners together, um, he can grab one bag from the rice bin, one bag from the meat bin, and he doesn't have to like sort through all the bags to see what's on them. Um, they are pretty much well labeled. There was the fish there. Um, so we put that with the chicken. So I had like one bin for the oxtail and one for the other. Um, and since there was more in the oxtail, I tried to put the fuller bin on top because that way you don't really have to worry about if it stacks okay. Um, and then I just snapped the sides. So we were able to get um, those in there. And of course, I still had some items left. Okay guys, this is what it looks like emptied out. I, I feel like I've never liked ice like that. So I decided that I'm going to turn this down. I think right now it's on six. I'm just going to adjust it to a five. Just to see if I don't like the frost effect. So, all right, now it's time to like clear this out a little bit and then restock. All right, good people. So I had turned or unplugged the deep freezer just so I could get some of that frost off very quickly, which helped me scrape the bottom. I see there's a little <laughs> dings and stuff and nicks and within the um, little lining here, but that's all good. Um, did that to kind of speed up the process because I don't want to keep things out of the freezer too long. As you can see here, we have this little shelf. So until I get some more bins, I'm thinking that might be the stuff that's loose that I'll put there. Um, but for now, let's start loading everything back in. what I have so far I have the rice which is there's a lot of rice and peas and vegetable fried rice not vegetable fried rice chicken fried rice um, here um, there's still some space here I actually wanted to put the meat up here in its own little section that might be the best thing to do and then just add the leftovers over here until I get another bin so we'll see all right my people this is what we have done. So this is our meat section. So I put oxtail at the top. I think there's chicken, fish, um, and something else down there. And some other type of meat things I put here to the side. They're not in the bin, but they're packed in that section. And these are the sides. So because there's a lot of rice and peas, I use the other like sides and put them on top of this bin because both of these are filled with rice and peas. So once this is cleared out, then we can actually move um, that big tub of rice and peas over here. Um, so there are other sides like breadfruit. Oh, actually that's not breadfruit, um, something else. But nevertheless, it looks so much better. Move this little tray here. This whole like the peppers and the hot peppers and things like that. Move that over here because it's okay. Of course this slides around. So I think this is a definite improvement to what it used to be. And I'm excited to see what my husband thinks about it. Okay guys, so we're really happy with the finished product. What do you guys think? Great job, right? Well, it looks so much better than it was before. So I'm really happy about it. I feel like this is definitely a much more functional space 
Um, I think now when my husband comes in here, he'll be able to find what he needs a little bit more um, easily than before. And that's the ultimate goal. That's why I organize anything, any area in my home. I'm already thinking about what next, what next? But for now, um, we're very happy about our deep freezer organization. Let me know what you think about it, how you would improve it. Do you have a deep freezer? What do you do to keep things organized? Um, I know my parents have one of those upright freezers where you know it has the door, has the shelves, hashtag goals, uh, maybe one day, but this works in the space that we have over there. So we're gonna work with it for now. Uh, anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to like it. And if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. Once again, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Stay organized.